Across Africa, the cattle disease trypanosomosis kills millions of livestock annually. Cattle get trypanosomosis when sessiflies bite. Animals that evolved alongside sessi tolerate the disease without getting very sick. However, in West Africa, farmers are introducing cattle breeds from other regions because they're larger and more productive. These animals get trypanosomosis easily. Many strategies have been tried for dealing with trypanosomosis. Sessi traps reduce insect numbers but need maintenance that smallholder farmers don't have time to give. Releasing laboratory reared sessi that can't breed or using insecticides to kill sessi also have impact, but wild sessi soon reinfest cleared sites. Drug treatments are popular with farmers. But there are not enough college-trained veterinarians to treat sick animals, forcing many farmers to do the treatments themselves. Over the years, high numbers of doses, some given incorrectly, have allowed resistant strains of the trypanosomosis-causing parasites to develop and spread. At low levels of resistance, the disease can still be managed by giving higher doses of drugs or treating with a combination of different types of trypanocytes. But farmers often lack the guidance to know when and how to adapt and apply this knowledge. Producing new drugs that the parasites are not resistant to would help, but drug development is a long, expensive process. Rational drug use is a new approach that promotes good practices. It aims to minimize emergence and spread of drug resistance. Key messages of rational drug use include Buy medicines of assured quality. Wash hands and sterilize equipment before treating. Diagnose properly and only treat when necessary. Calculate dosages carefully. It is currently illegal in many places for anyone but college-trained vets to treat animals or for anyone to give instruction to farmers about using drugs. Until laws change, problems with inappropriate drug use will continue.